I've lost count of the number of times students have asked me, Dr. B, what do you think I should study for my master's? And majority of the students are immigrants. Now, I would first of all say thank you so much for trusting me enough to ask that question because that means I'm doing something right and uh, the validity of whatever it is I've been saying on this channel has been making sense. So, yeah. So in today's video, we're going to be addressing those questions. What should you study for your master's degree as an immigrant? Now, this video is meant for immigrants. If you're an home student, congratulations to you. Your options are numerous. And I mean, I could go over some of the degrees that I think would be very beneficial to you. But this particular one is for immigrants. So yeah, let's address that question. So to start with, I'm going to tell you what not to study as an immigrant because I think that's the mistake I see a lot of people make. So we're going to first talk about what not to study and then we're going to talk about what to study and why, right? So you understand the reason or the rationale behind the, each of the courses that I'll be mentioning or some of the courses that I'll be mentioning. I feel like the list is, the list is quite long but it's just to give you an idea of the direction in which you should be looking which is why mentioning the rationale is very important that's because i can't cover all of the courses right as a bonus at the end of this video i'm going to add one more tip to this which is how to leverage that msc to get a job let's start with what not to study now majority of the students who have reached out to me i believe would attest to the fact that the next question I ask them once they ask that question is what's your reason for studying that master's degree? Why do you want to get a master's? There are numerous reasons, numerous reasons, but one of the most important ones that I've seen that I think comes up a lot is the fact that they want to use that master's degree as a means of coming into the UK to better their life, better their education and find a way to get a job that makes them remain in the UK. Congratulations United Kingdom, your country is well rated. So that said, I guess that that's top of most people's list and uh, we're going to be addressing all of that, right? So before I digress again, what not to study. Now, what I think you should not study are courses that are popular. Like there are some courses that have like popularity contests. And if you've seen my videos, I have a previous video that I've mentioned about public health. That is a very popular course, particularly for people in the health field. They believe that a master's in public health can cure anything. You couldn't be more wrong, but that's it. That's, I mean, watch the video. I have explained in details and that video had loads of comments. Loads of people disagreed. Loads of people agreed. People shared their experiences about how they struggled with the master's degree in public health. Now that's not the sole purpose of this video, but I guess that public health tops that list for me. And that's because majority see it as, oh, this is the in thing. I should get this degree. You know, this is public health. You can't go wrong with public health. You, you get a job and work in the public, public health sector or work in the health sector or something like that without thinking of the prospects that that course actually has. And I see majority do it's not just in health, in other, other, other sectors as well. So I've seen courses like international business and I've seen majority jump on it. And I'm like, international business, how do we rate that? How do you start applying for a job with that? You, because see, let's be very honest as an immigrant, your chances are quite slim. So you need to be aiming really high. You cannot just pick a course to study for, just for the sake of studying it or just, oh, this course will get me into the UK. And then when I get there, I'll start figuring it out. No. If you intend, if your intention is to stay back in the United Kingdom, then the choice of course that you choose is very important. So it starts from what course am I studying? How am I going to leverage this course to now get a job that would make me stay back in the United Kingdom? I mean, you don't want to come here, do all that study, and then end up with just any job for the sake of sponsorship, right? So that said, 
don't choose courses that are popular for popularity sake not because uh, they are on the, they have jobs that are on the shortage list or because it's high in demand those are things to consider right it's it's interesting how public health again as my example has really caused a lot of people some form of disarray if i can say that and that's because i don't know who is advising us but um, i'm going to this is as honest as it can get right but don't do it just just don't do it because it's popular you know when you pick some things you have to look at what 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 can i leverage what advantage do i have how do i leverage this thing to achieve my goal again if your goal is not to stay back i mean this is not for you so yeah consider that now when we now talk about what to study and why i guess you can already understand the why but i'm going to start with the rationale why should you study some of these courses that i'm going to mention now the courses you want to study first of you look at professional courses that are high in demand such that the uk itself does not have enough workforce to cover that part, the particular shortage meaning you should be leveraging courses on the shortage uk shortage list whereby you can easily get a sponsorship for that's one direction to look at now how do you access that shortage list is on gov.uk i'll probably show something on the side now to show you what that looks like and these are the shortage list so you should be able to go through it and see what aligns with your primary i mean your 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 primary qualification which is your bsc or your ba whichever one you've got uh what aligns with your with your undergraduate degree that you think you can leverage in this case to get a master's in that particular course and then look at how you can take advantage of that i guess i'll make an entire video on how to find a job after your master's i mean how to find a job after your master's watch out for that video i'll be making one in maybe a week or two that should that should drop so yeah that's something to absolutely consider but back to what i'm saying so it's important that whatever course you're choosing to go with is is such that is on the shortage list and you are wanted you're needed the moment you say i need a cos I need it. The COS means certificate of sponsorship. So like I need a sponsorship. They just go boom. That's what employers do, right? So it's important that the moment you tell them, oh, I'm going to be requiring you to sponsor me. They're like, oh, no, that's not a problem. And that's because they really need you. That's where you want to be. So that's the reason for my rationale. Now, let's go into some of these courses that I think that you can take advantage of. You don't necessarily have to start with a first degree, right? You don't have to do a first degree again. It could be a, a master's as well. I mean, we're talking about master's anyway. But I guess one of the biggest sector would be the healthcare sector. Now, I know a lot of you, your mind has gone to healthcare assistant and all that. That's not the only healthcare job that sponsors. Okay. It's, I mean, one of it, but I'm sure that's not the goal for you to be watching this video, right? So when we look at healthcare sector, quite diverse, and there is massive shortage, particularly within the NHS, you can tell there is massive shortage. So you want to leverage that. Now, what are some of these occupations that need a lot of hands you can attest nursing is number one no doubt number one nursing as in the top that list anywhere the top that list now with nursing you're wondering oh but i don't have a nursing degree how do i then go about it da 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 that's why i'm here for you okay let me tell you so the beat is for nursing there the I don't know, I can't remember exactly what it's called again, but it's called, actually I can't remember, but you can do a master's degree, right? That is like an accelerated route. I think it's a two years master's there about. And then with that, I know they have for uh, mental health nursing, adult nursing, and some others like that. So you go through that accelerated route. If you already have a first degree, right? This is for people who have a first degree, who have gone through their... Uh, undergraduate days and they have that their degree so if you want to go for a master's and you want to become a nurse but you don't want to go back to study you having to do a bsc in nursing you can easily just get on that train get a master's 
it's an accelerated route like i said get a master's degree in mental health nursing adult nursing whichever one you choose get a master's degree in it and by at the end of that program you will become a nurse you will get your pain and you already know from there the sky is your limit so that's one way to look at it so some of the courses within uh, the health sector that I think you should consider aside nursing would be uh, occupational therapy, physiotherapy, speech and language therapy, um, physician assistant, I know that's a thing, um, clinical psychologist. The list is a bit endless, so you might want to check that shortage list and just see what that looks like. Even within the health sector, you have loads of shortage lists. I mean, there are fields that, like learned disability fields, that is, I mean, they are quite short. The shortage is immense. So, yes, you want to look at that for the healthcare sector. I mean, the list is endless, so do well to. I'll probably put links in the, in the, what's it called? In the description such that you'll be able to access some of these resources and be able to decide for yourself now that's the healthcare sector there are other other fields that you might want to consider so i'll just mention some randomly and then uh with that you can make your choice you can still research about this extensively but remember the goal is to understand the why the why in this case why you should study some of these courses is there is a shortage so leverage that to your advantage don't just go for anything now some of the bits that i would say consider would be social work there is such shortage of social work i mean social workers are literally being brought from other countries to work within the uk zimbabwe for example i'm, I'm certain of i think so uh you can study uh, msc just like nursing there is msc so ma rather not msc ma social work that allows you to become a social worker and practice in the uk so that gives you an advantage and you can get a sponsorship with that so that's one key thing to consider now another bit will be project management but the need for project managers just keeps going up i mean I feel like they are the most important part of any organization these days. Without project management and all their agile methodologies, there is not so much you can get done uh, effectively and in a very productive way. So project management and project management is vast across different fields, but you don't just want to consider, oh, I'm just studying project management. So I guess these are some of the bits we would now address in uh, how to find a job. You do, I mean, with a project with project management you have to be very specific is it construction project management is the it project management it is vast so you need to be very sure of which direction you're going now in the tech sector still in the tech, tech sector as well uh so i want to shy away from saying data analysts because how ah, that field is populated you guys have gathered the skills oh my goodness oh my god it's 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 interesting but i mean we can go towards more of the developing side of things the dev side of things so one occupation that i think that the skill set is still very much needed and there's still shortage is the devop rules but you have to be ready you have to be able to code you have to be able to do several things so yeah but the devop role is 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 a good one is a good one to have and is a good one to, to i mean is, is the devops skill is a good one to have so you can research about that way i don't even think whatever you study is as important is that important but there are trainings and certifications that you can do to obtain this one of the popular ones that i know is cloud booster now i'm mentioning that because a little bias i i i did that training the cloud booster training so i'm just mentioning that in passing so in case you go onto their page just mention let them know that i sent you there so yes uh that's i mean they will literally hold your hands until you become a devops engineer but that's worth considering as well i mean the list is a bit endless so i guess what i would do just so i don't keep listing and listing and listing and just keep rambling about i'm going to give a detailed description in in in, in the description box such that I would group them into different uh, sectors.
the healthcare, the social care, the tech sector, and all that bit, and just put some occupations on that there, and then you can go search for yourself. That is the main goal. Go search for yourself. Now, to the last bit and the tip that I mentioned, that I would, uh, I'll be giving you, which is how to leverage the MSc to get a job. Now, I will give one key tip for this. Now, that's not the only tip. Like I promised, I'm going to make another video that is going to address this, how to find a job after your master's, right? Now, the goal is, in this case, you want to leverage this MSc. How do you do that? Now, I can bet that majority do not have the experience, work experience that they, they, that they can leverage with the MSc. So you need to be able to volunteer to you volunteer in certain roles that aligns with that msc so that you can leverage that experience in applying for a job and that would be like your uk experience plus you'll be able to get a reference from them plus it's a good way to network and it might even be your entry into the job market that way do you understand now what are some of the ways that you can get i'll give you one tip for this one as well that you can get volunteering roles where do you get those from how do you get them one big way to get i mean one way that i know that is why you 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 would have access to loads of volunteering roles is to check charityjobs.com i don't know if you've checked that before so i'm just going to pop a screen there and show you so if you go to charity jobs and you leverage they have the paid job they have the volunteer jobs you want to come through that volunteer job and look for the one that aligns with the role you want to do do not be very particular about money at this moment the goal is to get that experience be able to leverage that reference and i tell you this makes a whole lot of difference so i'll talk about this more in details when i make the video on how to find a job after your masters all right guys so i guess this video is packed but if you don't take anything away from this video remember that to choose that master's degree a master's degree in the uk as an immigrant you need to take advantage of shortage you need to be needed you need to be wanted it needs to be a job that no if i search or if i put that job search on now all organizations are looking for for people to cover that role even within the uk outside the uk in other foreign countries like this shortage is massive you want to leverage that you truly want to leverage that or simply go for professional courses that you know that if anything i dust my pain or my whatever that is given to me and i get another job and i get another job like the nurses like like the nurses so yes that is what you should take away from this video now this has been very beneficial to you i haven't said anything like like and subscribe all along but if you watched up until this point you should like and subscribe um thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it share this video with your friends share with your family i feel like a lot of people will benefit from watching this video now until i see you again in my next video make sure you put a smile on somebody's face bye